Hello you guys, welcome back to my channel and welcome to another Vlogmas day. So we are now going to be talking about yet again my favorite brand which is going to be Charlotte Tilbury and I do have a new palette from hers. Kind of new, I've mentioned this so many times, I am a little behind in newest releases but this is definitely one of the winners and we're going to be talking all about the Pillow Talk Dreams palette. This one was released, I don't know, maybe like four or five months ago, so it's not super, super new, but it's new to me. And I am very, very happy with this palette. I have just used it once today, and I do have it on my eyes, but I don't know if you can tell, but I have two different eyeshadow palettes. I wanted to do a comparison between the original Pillow Talk and then the new dreams. So I have both of them and are both already on my eyes. So if you wanna see how I got this makeup look, be sure to keep watching. Before we get into it, please be sure to subscribe. Super easy, just hit this little red subscribe button. Be sure to also hit the bell so you get notified every time that I post for the month of December all the way up to Christmas. I'm gonna be posting five videos per week as opposed to two, which is my regular schedule. So be sure to, to check those out. Don't miss them by subscribing and hitting the bell. So I do have here the newer to me Pillow Talk Dreams. So this one was released Honestly, I've already kind of like lost count of when all this new makeup that I have was released because I just recently purchased a lot of these things. I was in Mexico for like three months. So during this, those three months, I didn't purchase anything until I got back. So a lot of these releases were from that time. So anyway, here's what the little palette looks like. So this is the basically the newest version of the Pillow Talk. She did have another one called Pillow Talk Pop, I believe. So it's only the pop shadows. So I wanna try it today with or next to Pillow Talk, the original. So here we have the original Pillow Talk and here we have the new Dreams. So you can see how much deeper the Dream one is compared to the original. With those two shades initially, that's like extremely darker compared to this one, because even the darker one in this palette, which is gonna be this one up here, is going to be lighter than the lighter one in this palette of the mattes. As usual, I am going to follow the palette as it's recommended. So basically you have Prime, uh, the crease, which is called Enhance, and then the Smoke and the Pop. So let's start with Prime, which I'm going to use a small flat shader brush. And I'm just going to add this all over my lid. And wow, that is so pretty. That is definitely very sparkly, which I love. And I'm just going to add this all over the lid. And now we're gonna be switching. I'm like adding this a little bit into the crease, but very minimal. That was super easy. And now let's move on to the second shadow, which is going to be Enhanced. This is going to be the second one here next to the Prime. And with a fluffy blending brush, I'm just going to put this all over my crease and I'm just kind of like blending this back and forth. And again, that is such a pretty shade and very easy to blend. Look at how pretty that is. With my finger, I'm gonna go back into the first shade, which was the Prime. I'm just grabbing a little bit. I'm going to go back and make sure that we didn't lose that pigment, but honestly, everything was basically still the same, just adding a little bit extra. And now I am going to use a smaller, more precise brush, like this, like a more skinnier, and I'm gonna go into the smoke, which is going to be the darker one in the palette, and I'm going to start blending this into the outer V of my eye. This is very, very pigmented. Did you see that? That was very easy. And I'm just going to bring it across my lash line just ever so softly. And to finish up with this eye, we're just gonna use the pop shadow, which is going to be the fourth one in the little quad with my finger. And I'm just going to pop it in the center of the eye. This is much darker than I anticipated. It's almost like a bit of a light, Purpley. So now that I added that, I'm gonna go back to the darker shade and I am going to redraw that bit of a line, a fall line that I had going on on the lash line. And then for my inner corner highlight, I'm gonna use the prime shade, which it actually is the lighter one in the palette. 
and just in my finger, my pinky finger, I'm going to blend this all right here in my inner corner and I do like to bring it closer to my the bridge of my nose. So here it is and a quick thing, there was no fallout on my face so that's great. The only thing that I would add on this eye of course is going to be mascara, I'm gonna be doing that in a minute but I wanted to show you real quick how the eye is looking with the eyeshadow because on the other eye I'm gonna go ahead and use the old pillow talk which by just looking at this this is definitely going to be a darker more more intense pillow talk version than the original the colors on the original are more lighter or more subtle so this is definitely the same uh, kind of like color story but amped up a bit which I'm liking. I was afraid that with the new palette, because the colors do look significantly different than the original. This is the original. Okay, let's switch it. This is the one that we just used for the dreams, and then this is the original pillow talk. You can see that they look pretty different, but once on the eye, I feel like it looks like the same color story, just with more intense, more darker shades. So here we are. I'm gonna go ahead and do off camera my other eye with the original pillow talk and then I'll show you how both of them look side by side. All done with the shadows and you can clearly see very easily how much lighter the original pillow talk is. So I am so happy how this new one, The Dreams, performs. It is definitely a different formula. I can I can feel it in how you know touching the shadows and applying them. It is much softer easier to you know apply this is still very beautiful uh formula don't get me wrong but i feel like this is that elevated uh formula that she came out with maybe a couple of years ago this one is much older than that but um in general even this formula is amazing but this is going to be definitely the lighter maybe even more daytime appropriate look i would also pair this as a night look with a very dark intense vampy red or just like a bright red i think it's gonna be so pretty for the holidays but this is a classic and i would never stop loving this eyeshadow palette but then the dreams it's that more sultry more sexier eye i feel like even this this eye just looks a little bit bigger a little bit more awake with that darker more intense shadows it is just a beautiful palette honestly it's very very pretty did not disappoint not like I was thinking it would because it's Charlotte Tilbury and I really do love her quads so here's both of the eyes just wanted to show you before I just move on with mascara now I'm gonna go ahead and apply that and then I'll be back to show you the final looks both of them in a minute all done and I feel like it is very easily noticeable how much darker or more intense the dream palette is compared to the original but uh overall i took a picture and i i feel like the picture does not showcase as much the difference but in real life like if i'm just grabbing my mirror and looking at the mirror i can definitely see how this eye is much darker more intense and this one is about you know softer more like a lighter wash of beautiful pink i really love of course both of them but the dreams it's just so so pretty i also went and used a lot of the other charlotte tilbury products across the board so on my cheeks i used the new beautification face palette and for the lips i have the lip liner and the lighter version original pillow talk i thought this one would look best this is probably my most used lipstick you can see how little it is now i used it all the time but anyway um here it is it is a beautiful palette the shadows are extremely soft, perform beautifully, all of them including the pop shade which in the past, comparing it specifically to the original Pillow Talk, the pops in this one is definitely a, a formula that she needed to improve because this just felt like very dry very fast. I do feel like probably next year it wouldn't hurt for me to refresh this palette and get a new one because the pops is just feeling a little bit dry. Here we can see the swatches of the two palettes. So on the very top we've got the original Pillow Talk starting from the Prime, then we move to the Enhance, the Smoke and the Pop. So the top ones are going to be the original Pillow Talk and then on the bottom we can see the much more intense Pillow Talk Dreams. So I did notice once I swatched them that the Dreams is going to be a much more purpley undertone, especially that, uh, especially that darker 
uh, smoke shade but both of them still have that very pretty rosy pink undertones which of course I absolutely love now that I swatched them on my hand, I can definitely see the big difference between these two palettes. And the both the pop and the prime on the Dreams palette are just breathtaking and super, super shiny. Just look at that. I feel like this pop shadow would be such a beautiful palette, a beautiful shadow as one of those one and done eyeshadows. So here is both palettes. So you can take a better look at how both of the colors look on a heavy swatch. Let me know in the comments down below if you own the new Dreams palette. I am so happy with it. I think it's absolutely beautiful and definitely worth the money. And I say definitely worth because these palettes are not cheap at all. They are pretty pricey, especially for four, uh, four little shadows. But as someone who doesn't use as many bigger size palettes, quads are my perfect kind of eyeshadow palette. It's just easy. You don't really have to think much about your makeup. Especially if you're someone like me that are that you're not a makeup artist and you like your makeup to be easy, simple for your everyday, highly recommend you look into this ones. And if you like the more pinkish hues, the dream ones, the dream one, I know you're gonna love it. Thank you as always for watching. If you enjoyed it, please give it a big thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe and be sure to hit the bell so you get notified every time that I post. And I'll see you in the next one. Bye.